So in terms of contrasting the first and second half of the year, the, the first half of the year, we've seen a very strong stock rally. And at the same time, bonds have cheapened as bond yields are still a bit higher than they were at, at year end. So effectively, the stock versus bond risk premium has worsened a bit. For a while now, we've been ping-ponging back and forth between soft landing and, and uh, high for long. And what the second half of the year will do for us is clarify why we will be cutting interest rates. And I think that's a very important thing because as we look at the historical examples, what you see is that when you're cutting for growth risks, stocks go down. When you're cutting for soft landing, as you did in the mid-1990s, stocks sailed right through that rate cutting cycle. And in terms of the path to a, uh, a stock correction, I, I think what can happen here is that uh, effectively, when you go through an interest rate hiking cycle, that restriction from the interest rate hiking cycle is felt with a long and variable lag and, and it, it manifests either as a growth slowdown or eventually as recession. So as we see growth slowdown, that will be challenging for the equity expected returns and, and positive for bond expected returns, especially when your starting point is interest rates 5% higher after the interest rate hiking cycle. For the second half of the year, equities risk reward we think will be different to the first half. Growth was seen to be accelerating, but at the same time the view by most investors was pivot. Fed will be easing frequently and quickly, inflation going down, and that helped the equity market do well so far this year. For the second half it will be a bit of a change, you're going to have on one side growth momentum which is slowing, uh, moderating, weakening, maybe weakening too much. But on the other side, the, the easing so far that was expected did not come through. Fed is still where it is, and therefore the financing conditions are not improving, yield curve is not re-steepening, money supply is not picking up. So for the second half of the year, we worry about this trade-off of weaker growth, but still higher for longer interest rates, because investors are now committed, they are invested, People are not looking for downside, they are optimistic, and therefore the surprise could be more on the negative side. Now, within that, how do you position? We started the year long growth style, long large caps. We think they will continue to work very well in the US. There will be an opportunity sometime in second half, we believe, to go broader, to go international. But for now, we think summer will still show volatility and uncertainty, and therefore you wait for the better entry point for this rotation.